ahead, we're going to be seeing the impressive closing ceremonies here, but earlier tonight, another great ceremony took place. They've been together since before they were born, and now they would be side by side on the victory stand in Sarajevo. Phil Mayer, winner of the gold medal in men's slalom. Steve Mayer, silver medalist in the same event. It's really a story that no novelist would dare to write. Phil has almost always been slightly ahead of Steve. He was born four minutes earlier, and today finished 21 one hundredths of a second before his brother. And here he was, about to receive the gold medal. On the World Cup circuit, neither had really been skiing his best so far this winter. Steve had the better results, but Phil here, the World Cup champion, just recently managed to take even a fourth place. Now with one last passing snow shower falling on the Skandaria Press Center area, they were receiving their medals and shortly would hear a national anthem. Medaille d'argent. Silver medal. Steve Mayer, Sjedinjene Američke države. There was. United. These six o'clock medal ceremonies have become something like the cocktail hour back home. Every night at six, we have the awards. But for Americans, this one was different. This one ended the Olympics on the highest possible note for the United States. It also served notice that the Americans, after two decades of trying, have finally really arrived on the world skiing scene. And the bronze medal for France, bringing back memories of Jean-Claude Keeley and the great days of French ski racing in the late 19, the middle and late 1960s. But for America, what a week this has been. Remember, up until this week, no American man had ever won a gold medal on skis, not in any kind of skiing event. Then came Bill Johnson, and now comes Phil Mayer, and right behind him, his brother Steve. The ceremonial flowers being brought to the, the three medalists at Skandaria. Very light snowfall, it didn't last very long, but it kind of dressed up the ceremony. And then the moment had come for the playing of the end. something to have a gold medal and a new baby. Well, less than an hour before the first run this morning, his wife had her baby in Arizona. Phil heard the news from Donna Deverona. Do you know that uh, your your wife had a baby? No. A boy. Really? Yep. Today? Well, this morning. It's uh, 8 pounds, 13 ounces. Mm. And I've got the telephone yeah, number for you. Oh, that's okay. Isn't that great? Yeah. Uh, well, you just take you just take this piece of paper. Take a second. Great. Please. Oh man, I don't it's believe. It's a good day for the marriage. This is all we have a baby today. Baby boy. Well, here he is, flashed to us by satellite from Arizona, flashed back to you by satellite again. No name yet, but this is Phil Mayer's new baby. Is he yeah. terrific? Isn't that great? And uh, there's a friend there, and there is his older sister, Lindsay. She's 17 months old, and the mother just behind Lindsay. That is Holly, the grandmother was there, and a friend. So, Phil is still a step ahead of Steve. Steve's wife is expecting her baby in late April. Coming up, the closing ceremonies, which you're watching here, of course, the impressive opening ceremony. Seems such a long time ago now. Closing ceremonies coming up. The finer things. Happily, some are affordable.